Hi, I'm Tony Gaughan from HP Tuners, and today we're going to use our VCM scanner to diagnose a mass airflow problem with our vehicle. Let's get started. So the first thing is the customers brought this vehicle in here. They're complaining that they have a check engine light on that's not running the greatest. So the first thing we do is we need to diagnose the problem. So we're going to use the scanner to do that. I'm going to click on my scanner function and open it up. Key is on. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the vehicle by using the connect to vehicle button. This will communicate with the vehicle and you'll notice it'll ID the top of the vehicle what it is. Now I'm going to check on the little check engine light right here and read DTCs. We've got a mass, let's see, invalid received from body control module. Those are history codes. However, I have a mass error code that is pending right now. And so we need to see exactly what's going on with that. But that may be a problem. Now, without even opening the hood or anything else, we're going to look and see if the master is even reading in the scanner. And how we're going to do that is, number one, I'm going to leave that there, and I'm going to go to my gauge format here. I'm actually going to crank the vehicle. Going to turn on the actual scanner function. As you can see, we're reading right there. All right, so first thing I see right off the bat is our inlet air temperature is reading negative 40. That tells me that something's probably unplugged, but to confirm that, I'm going to make sure, yep, as of right now, the IAT is not working correctly. And the code goes with the mass airflow sensor as well. So we're going to actually now pop the hood. We're going to check underneath the hood of this vehicle and see if there's anything unplugged. All right, stand by. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to check this out here. Well, looking at this right here, this appears to be that it's all plugged in. But in the scheme of things, looking at this, oh, it is not plugged in. Look at this. Look at this. Let's snap it in. Put the lock on. Let's go back and see what we got now. Okay, so we just found that the mass air wasn't plugged in. We actually snapped it all the way into place. Now we're back in the vehicle. We're actually going to turn the key on. We're actually going to crank the vehicle and see if our inlet air temperature comes up and we'll know if it's working. Start the scanner. Truck runs a little smoother too. Look at that. You can see right there our temperature is good. The mass air is reading correctly. Simple Diagnostics 101. And we would use a scanner to actually troubleshoot the vehicle, see the check engine light on here, see that the, that the inlet air temperature wasn't actually working and the mass air wasn't working. And all we had to do at that point in time was look under the hood. It looked like it was plugged in, but it wasn't. Once we snapped it into place, we reset it, came in here, cleared the coach, started it back up. Everything's working like it's supposed to. Success, Diagnostics 101. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a better grasp on diagnostics. If you have any questions, please comment below so we can help you out. We also have plenty of resources linked in the description to check out too. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content and we'll see you in the next video.